From local development to activism, it was a big year in the Wabash Valley. And as we prepare to close out the year, we're taking a look at some of the biggest local stories of 2019. Well, we talk about 200 new jobs. These are careers. And for a state like Indiana, who's long been known as an ag powerhouse, as a, as a state that feeds the world, feeds the nation, we're also feeding dogs and cats now, too. The Holman Center is sold out for another big weekend, where we anticipate seeing the 1979 team together with Larry Bird to cheer on the Sycamores. Paul isn't the only one showing support for a more permanent center for the homeless, as a recent online petition has been signed by over 900 community members and counting. After crew searched for more than three hours on Wednesday, evening, their rescue efforts turned to a recovery. Nobody could survive in these conditions. A week after Terre Haute South Jr. Jenna Pirelli passed away in a car accident, her community continues to try and wrap their heads around the tragic loss. Gaming matters. That's the subject of Senate Bill 552, a piece of legislation that could bring a casino to Vigo County. The standoff situation on Tuesday, where Terre Haute's special response team was called to the scene, shook up even those not directly involved. Emotions ran high at the State House Wednesday night as legislators watched a landmark gaming bill pass through the General Assembly. Since 2017, a total of 1,098 crashes occurred on I-70 between mile marker 1 and 59. Jeffrey Lynn Hand was able to sneak by detectives for 46 years with the addition of a Pyrrolux plant on the north side of town, a plant slated to bring 55 jobs to the area. It's the decision to sell Clabber Girl was not an easy one. Uh, we were out of space. The finishing touches are taking place at the new Greene County Jail. Now 17-year-old Noah Griffith walks a little differently through his Terre Haute home. Nine months ago, Noah hopped on a friend's dirt bike. Little did anyone know it would be the last thing he did in a while. He became known as the I-70 killer, a nickname synonymous with the highway he apparently traveled on to carry out his brutal murders. The Sisters of Providence and Valley Professionals Community Health Center are bringing a primary care clinic to West Terre Haute. The defendant would admit to a count of reckless homicide and a count of criminal recklessness in the wreck that killed Pirelli. And now Kincaid and other national and local leaders are speaking out against the death penalty resuming in Terre Haute in December. He had gone up to a teacher and made the comment, I'm tired of all this stuff, I'm going to take my life. So we, um, we as a family decided we were not going to have him there anymore. These are our kids. I don't want my kids doing this. Just months before marijuana is officially legalized in Illinois, Robinson officials say there is much that is still unknown about the law. If we elect the same people, things will continue to go on the way they have. Goodwin says he'd like to see the city focus on growing small businesses and startups. Nasser says there's an argument that people don't think they're getting a good return on their taxpayer investments. There are people that, you know, feel like they have nothing to show for. Meehan is a father of three. He says that he's never had a role in politics and his run for mayor is to show the community that it can be done. The people that, when I was out talking to them, they said there's no prayer unless you've been part of the political system. The first thing I'd like to do is a water talk facility, something similar to what Plainfield has. It's one project for Bennett if he serves a fourth term and if casino funds are available to help with quality of life. As Shovel met dirt Friday morning in downtown Terre Haute, years of planning met reality as leaders broke ground on the Terre Haute Convention Center. The Terre Haute Police Department made their debut on network television show Live PD Friday night, and some residents are already fans. With 63% of the vote, Vigo County residents said yes to a casino coming to Terre Haute Tuesday night. The day after securing a fourth term as Terre Haute's mayor, Duke Bennett reflected on the last 11 years. In July of this year, U.S. Attorney General William Barr announced that federal executions would resume after a 16-year absence. Tuesday, the scene both inside and outside of the Indiana State House was a red sea. That's as over 10,000 teachers headed to Indianapolis to demand change from their state lawmakers. To assist the homeless when temperatures are extremely cold, Kern says commissioners are in the process of establishing a warm shelter program. Two local women have had to see their motherhood through the other side of tragedy. Christina Christ lost her 15-year-old daughter Hannah to suicide in 2013. 
2018, Jaina Sullivan's 17-year-old Garrett Sands was shot and killed at a party in 2018. The unimaginable pain they suffered propelled them forward. There's something different going on right now in, in uh, the Wabash Valley and uh, Terre Haute's uh, the hub of it all. And we want to thank all of our viewers for watching us over the past year.